actual pictures of young women in their teens and 20s from right here in Metro Detroit. They were held as modern day slaves, locked up and drugged up. The pictures were posted in recent ads on Backpage.com, which has been the go to website for prostitution for years. Several murders are also tied to hookups on that site. Authorities in several states working together were finally close to shutting it down. Close until just last week. More on that in a minute. Human trafficking in the sex slave market, which is the second uh, fastest growing uh, uh, crime uh, globally. $32 billion a year are raked in by these thugs. Here in Detroit, federal court documents allege Richard Jackson held sex slaves in this Detroit house, keeping them locked upstairs. A large black metal steel gate on top of the stairs. He allegedly gave the females drugs, beat them if they refused to work. Three girls ran away. Get this, their tender ages, 12, 14, and 15. This could happen to anybody's daughter. It would just break your heart. 24-year-old Jonathan Colon of New York City was busted at this hotel in Roseville and charged with human trafficking, transporting for prostitution, and conducting a criminal enterprise. The evidence is he worked in several Metro Detroit hotels, selling his women and making big money. My lead detective described him as an animal. A uh, 25-year veteran, he says he has never seen anyone as cold-blooded or as terrifying as this individual was. Police say the stakes are the highest they've ever been with business and financial connections from here to other big cities. They're much more sophisticated than they were years ago, and it's, it's becoming part of organized crime. In 2011 here in Detroit, the stakes were raised for the website Backpage.com at the center of the murder of four young women. Their bodies were found in the trunks of cars. One car with two of the women burned to cover up the crime. Three of the four advertised as escorts on Backpage. This man, James Brown, would be convicted. In August of last year, Cynthia Worthy was abducted, then murdered. Jerome Moore would plead guilty to second-degree murder and is doing 30 to 45 years in prison. He met his victim through a Backpage.com escort ad. Police say... The online connection makes murder and human trafficking all too easy. I wasn't one of the ones clued in on everything, so it's really, it's really difficult. It still does not justify violence or kidnapping someone or holding them against their will. Meet Carl Ferrer, the owner of Backpage.com. After several states' attorneys general worked together, Ferrer was arrested in Texas and charged in California with conspiracy and pimping a minor. In court documents, Backpage was called the world's top online brothel, and the owner allegedly made millions of dollars a month. But get this, Sacramento County Superior Court Judge Michael Bauman tossed out the case just last Friday, saying how the ads were placed gave First Amendment protection. Victimization resulted from the third party's placement of the ad, not because of Backpage profiting from the ad placement. This is a huge setback nationwide. I would urge Congress to try to make a change to this. Yeah, and this is just uh, another individual profiting off of someone else's misery. He knows what he's doing. He's doing it purposely. And he can hide behind the First Amendment all he wants. Uh, common decency says uh, you don't put these ads out there. And the common warning to all families, keep very close to your teen girls and young adults. They can easily become the next victim of human trafficking or murder. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow.